What's up guys, Rob from Clicksgeek. In today's video, I wanna walk you through Google Ads Smart Campaigns versus Google Ads Regular Search Campaigns. Now, there's a huge difference, all right? And we're gonna get right into that, but first, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description below this video. I put some cool stuff in there for you guys. All right, so let's get right into it. I don't wanna waste any more of your time. We're looking at a Google Ads Smart Campaign right now that I just built last Friday. Today's Monday. So there's not really much data we have, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So we built this campaign for our retail side of our agency, which is uh, pay per click. So we're adding, we're just we built some quick ads in the smart campaign to just go after um, retail type PPC company keywords, and I'll show you that in a minute. So you can see here, it's a very basic dashboard. You have a few options when setting up these campaigns, and if you don't know how to set up a smart campaign, go to the ClicksGeek channel and look for the playlist called Smart Campaigns and I walk you through how to build this. It literally takes 15 minutes. It's very quick. So you have here some custom hours. You can add an ad schedule in for days you want your Google to show your ads. You can add a couple ads here. I think I have three, but I'm pretty sure you can add a bunch more. Yeah, you can just keep adding ads. The more ads, the better, I would say. If you're gonna run a smart campaign, do at least five ads, four or five. So let me get back out of there. All right, and then we have here our overall performance, which are those quick hit statistics, the impressions, clicks, and the amount spent. You can see here, we got four clicks targeting keywords like PPC advertising agency. So they're much, much cheaper, the clicks, when you're running a smart campaign, but the quality, there's not really much control. And I'm gonna get to that in a minute. And you can see we haven't gotten any calls yet. And it's you get to enter a phone number when you build the campaign, and it's gonna track the calls through that when you set up analytics which it walks you through how to do all that. So this is the core of the smart campaign right here is the targeting. This is all you can do really. It asks you for keyword themes and you can just add keyword themes and it gives you suggestions. So we're, like I said, we're, go we're only going after PPC agency and service type keywords. You can see here our keywords are more, a little more dialed in than PPC marketing is really broad. PPC advertising is really broad. It could be people looking for, you know, training or Anything that's not has to do with what we're looking for. Website design, obviously we don't do that. Product marketing, SEO marketing, it's all stuff we don't do. So the best advice I can give you when adding keywords in your smart campaign is try and be as specific as possible because you don't really have much control. All right, so how I did that, I'm going after company, agency, service, and pricing keywords. All right, so I'm, looking, I'm trying to tell Google, hey, I only want this type of stuff. So we add the themes and you can see here, here's what Google came, Google came back with. And we had to pause a few of them because luckily, you know, we didn't spend any money on them, but Google showed our ads for online SEO service, SEO internet marketing. So here's the thing with smart campaigns, you don't have control over the keywords that Google actually decides to show your ads for. Kind of like how a search campaign, you can choose your keywords, you can choose your match types, you can add negative keywords, you cannot do that stuff in smart campaigns. Google has all the control. All you can do is what you're looking at right now, which is turn off shitty keywords as they come in. All right, so we have some for our brand. We have uh, company, which is good. Agency fees, which is good. Marketing is a little broad. You know, I, I'm gonna leave, let that run though, just to see what happens. PPC ads, that's another one that's broad. Not really what we're going after, but I'll let it run, see what happens. PPC management, that's right on the money. That's what we want. PPC services, right on the money. AdWords, broad. I don't know what the intent is behind someone searching AdWords. It could be somebody looking for training advice or advice or whatever. So, but I'm gonna let it run for now. Online marketing agency, that's not what we're looking for. So I pause that one. Again, we have more brand and another one that's a little bit broad, PPC AdWords. But our main clicks came from PPC company and the brand, which I'm okay with, that works. So the whole point is you gotta, keep your keyword themes initially very tight because you're gonna get a bunch of crap and you're gonna to have to go through and pause this stuff. Smart ads is really not, it's really for people who are local business, don't have much time, don't wanna learn Google ads, and they just like, they're a pizzeria, they're a small local business, something, and they just wanna turn some ads on and, and uh, test it. It's really more what it's for. You can set your budget here to whatever you want. You can choose your locations, city, or you can go around a mile radius around a certain address. Again, you gotta set up your uh, your conversion tracking with Google Analytics and a little bit of the business info you put there. And that's really it, guys. This is not a complicated 
campaign to build. Like I said, it takes literally 15 minutes to build this. <clears throat> Just keep that in mind when you're uh, setting these up because you can set up a bunch of these targeting different things. So that's pretty much the smart campaign. As you can see, it's not there's not much to it. Now, if we go into an, a uh, Google Ads campaign, we have a client campaign here, you have a lot more control over what you're what you're doing here. All right, you have your ad groups, and each ad group has keywords inside it, and each ad group has ads that go with those keywords. All right, you get to choose your bids. You can, I mean, you can choose auto bidding like they do in smart campaigns, or you can choose the bid yourself. You have more control. You can add negative keywords, which is huge, right? So you have your keyword, your negative keywords here. You can tell Google, hey, man, I don't want my ad showing if this word is in one of the search phrases phrases that you're you know, going to try to show my ads for. So you have more control over who actually sees your ads. Another way you have control is over the search keywords. You have match types, right? So you can tighten down and dial in your traffic to be more specific towards exactly what you're looking for versus smart campaigns where you don't really have any control. Google has all the control. And if you don't know how to use match types, go to the Clicks Geek channel again and look for the playlist keyword match types. I, I go through each match type and how it works and all that and you'll learn more about it. But that's that's pretty much the main the main differences. In uh, and, and obviously you have more like you have more targeting options. Audiences, demographics, you can do location bids. There's, there's a lot of device bids. There's a lot of different ways you can dial in and optimize a regular Google Ads search campaign versus a smart campaign where you just don't really have much control. So that's the main differences. Smart campaigns, I'll give them a thumbs up to test. I've seen them work really well. I've seen them be horrible. So you really got to do it yourself and kind of just figure it out. But that's all I got for you guys today. Quick video. If you have any questions about smart campaigns, drop them in the comment section below this video. Remember, a Google Ads search campaign is always going to be better. It just is. Just If you can take the time to learn it, do it because you're going to get more leads, better traffic, and ultimately more sales from it because it's more dialed in. All right, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check the links in the description again. I'm going to put some stuff in there for you guys, including um, a free training series I have on how to optimize your Google Ads campaigns, search campaigns, not smart campaigns, and uh, some links to some other stuff.